Hi everybody, my name is Kenneth Branner and I directed Disney's Cinderella. And I'm excited to present some deleted scenes from the movie which I'd love to share with you. Even though the scenes themselves were beautifully written by Chris Weitz, our screenwriter, and wonderfully acted by our superb cast, when we included all of them in the movie, it felt as though perhaps we had too rich a mixture for this feather-light tale. Sometimes less is more. But what you're about to see now is Firstly, an alternative opening to the movie. And this was an experiment. We wanted to see if seeing more of young Ella in the early stages of her life would perhaps have us invest more in her life and her family relationships. And we also wanted to experiment with how we might introduce our mice family. In the end, the shorthand that we used in the finished movie allowed us to establish this happy house and this fun relationship with animals much more quickly than we realized. But here, and as a byproduct, you also get to see a lovely performance from the delightful Cammy Pugh. Hi, I'm Valerie. So you think you know movies? Well, did you know that in Toy Story, the carpet in Sid's house is the same as the one in The Shining? Next up, Olaf's dance with the seagulls in Frozen is a tribute to Mary Poppins, where Berta dances with the penguins. And sticking with Frozen, in early drafts of the movie, Elsa was a blue-skinned villain who wore a coat of weasels. <laughs> no way. So glad they didn't go ahead with that idea. Subscribe to keep up to date on all the latest releases and movie news.